All I hear is talking, I don't sweat that. If they don't trust me, yeah, I respect that. If she need on the ride, do oh, I bet that? Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is J.H. How y'all doing, posting family? Is everybody good? Is everybody cool? Everybody clean? Are you crisp? Are you feeling iry today? Let's talk. Green lighting bad behavior. Green lighting bad behavior. What exactly does that mean? It means thumbs up. It's okay to be an asshole. Let's talk about it. We're going to talk about the management. We're going to talk about the unions. And yes, we're going to talk about the workers as well. Everything USPS with this dude right here. Stick around. We're going to chop it up, shall we? Green lighting. That means, hey, you screwed up. No consequences. It's okay. Keep screwing up. All right. Management, first and foremost, hostile work environment, despite USPS policy emphasizing dignity and respect, some supervisors and managers exhibit aggressive, abusive behavior, creating tense and miserable work environments. We can all agree that. Some of these supervisors, I was talking to somebody today, they talk reckless. That's the word the person used. They said, these supervisors be talking reckless out their mouth because there's no consequences for the way they talk. They get away with it once, nothing happens. Somebody files an EEO, nothing happens, and they continue to do a green lighting, bad behavior. What the hell is going on with this place? When they continue to green light bad behavior, all it does is let the bad behavior soil, root, it sink, sink its teeth deeper into the soil and continue to grow. Lack of accountability. Management office fails to address harassment properly, leading to low morale, high absenteeism, and increased grievances. So, because people do the whole um, asshole, I'm going to be an asshole to you, what in turn happens? The postal worker says, you know what? I don't have to deal with this. I'm going to do the bang bang. I'm going to call out, screw this place. And then the morale of the whole team goes down in the shitters. There's people that I see on here that say, I just get used to it. Nobody should get used to people talking to us like we are not human. Tell me if I'm wrong. Relocation instead of solution. Instead of addressing harassment, USPS relocates problematic supervisors and managers to new offices, districts, or cities. That's what they do. They say, you know what? We can't do nothing with them. We can't can't lose their jobs, so let's just move them. All that did is just give them a green light. They'll be a little more cautious, but still, hey, you know what? You ain't gonna lose your job. It's okay. You, you, it, it, the fire was just a little too hot at that office. You go to another one. All right. Just try to keep the temper down a little bit. Nah, man. This is what they do. Green lighting, bad behavior. That's the postal way. Now, with the unions. The unions tend to have issues when it comes down to obviously their job problematic workers is who they tend to protect the most the union occasionally defends workers with repeated performance issues even when it harms the overall team's effectiveness tell me i'm lying everybody got them in your office there ain't no place usa that don't got them you always got that one problematic person that seems to keep on coming back See, keep on coming back. Everybody has this. 
man they must know somebody y'all heard that before they must know somebody or they're married to somebody in here or their uncle must be the postmaster over at their other place you've heard it before tell me a lion <laughs> slow grievance solutions somebody has a legitimate grievance hey man i'm a, I'm a male uh, i'm a male handler why am i cleaning the bathroom man you gonna help me with this oh we're gonna take care of it just do what they tell you to do and we'll take care of it knowing that the union in bed with management tell me i'm lying tell me i'm lying i hear it all the time psc clerks talking about yo they told me to go clean the bathroom and then I say to them, that's not your job because they want you to handle bleach and all this other stuff. And they tell you, how come it ain't clean? Well, there's a process to that, okay? Because the people that are actually supposed to do the janitorial work have to take a test, right? But the, the union's gonna say, just do what they tell you to do and don't worry about it. Got it here. Green lighting, bad behavior. Inflexibility during negotiations. The union's rigid stance during contract negotiations can hinder compromise and progress. Sometimes we want the union to do our to do our dirt for us. All of us do. We do. We ain't gonna lie about it. So when they are negotiating on the table and doing things that's supposed to be in our favor, even though it ain't really helpful to the company as a whole. They just keep that stance. So it technically helps the workers, but it's not helping the overall company. They put a, a clause in there. Hey, you can't fire this person unless you have all these paperwork right. The same people that you, fellow co-workers, can't stand wondering how this person got their job. Well, the union put that clause in there. No matter what they do, they're going to have a job. Oh, they got caught drinking on the job. Before you let them go, they have to go get therapy and counseling. Oh, you caught them smoking on the job? Mm, therapy and counseling. You like, yo, dude was drinking and in the car, in the postal vehicle, and we ain't get rid of them? Y'all get where I'm going with it. Now, for my workers, my own workers. Love me or hate me, I'm going to keep it 100. Absenteeism and low productivity. Some workers intentionally abuse sick leave and fail to meet performance expectations. They come in there with this mindset of, I'm not doing more. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. Y'all see it. Stations, tell me I'm lying. You got that one person that's going to scan in the morning, the, the, the clerk that scans one piece at a time. Beep. Walk over to the hamper and put it in. Go grab another one. Beep. Walk in there, dump it in. And you got the other two over there just beep. T45. Beep. T45. Beep. Beep. And you looking at them like, yo, how did this person get this job? They do it intentionally. And it hinders your other fellow co-workers. If you don't understand me, it's you that's doing it. You got the one carrier that know he gonna walk at a slow pace. Purposely. He leave the station late every day. And y'all like, this son of a bitch gonna be the one and he career and we gonna have to pick up a piece off of this man. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. Y'all can't tell me I'm lying because you know it's true. As much as you say, damn, Jay, don't attack the workers. I'm not attacking nobody. I'm putting it in information out there. We already dug at the managers. We already dug at the unions for tech, protecting and screwing stuff up. But now it's the workers. Okay? Can't get rid of the workers. It's virtually impossible. It's virtually impossible. The green lighting of the bad behavior is, hey, don't worry about it. You'll still have a job. Talk to me. Talk to me. The truck driver that makes sure... Even though his route said get on the highway to go and deliver this route, ah, mm -mm, nope, he gonna take the regular road and stop at every damn green light. I mean, I, I mean every red light. He gonna do everything just to stretch the day out, just to make sure. No matter what you say, hey, I need you to stop and pick up this one piece of mail, express mail, 
from the station on your way back. Hey, man, I need two hours of overtime. Bro, it is literally on the, it is next door to where you stop. I'm going to need two hours of over. Green lighting, bad behavior. Because the union going to fight for it. Talk to me. Resisting to change. It happens all the time. Resistance to change. Green light and bad behavior. Resisting to change. So when they say, hey, look, everybody got to go get uh, pit certified at the plant. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't going. I ain't going. I'm going to show up late. I'm not doing it. They want me. Nah, I'm not doing nothing extra. I ain't doing nothing. Nah, nope, nope, nope. Well, this is part of the new job. I ain't doing it. Well, you're going to have to scan. Um, nope, I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. And you know what happens? They get spoken to and they still don't do it. Resistance to change. Still green lighting bad behavior because the union gonna protect them. And management sits there and they stuck with their fingers twiddling like this is some bullshit. And you got every other person falling in line, doing the job, looking at you, wondering how the hell you keep getting away with your foolishness. Tell me I'm lying. Come on, talk to me. Tell me I'm lying. We ain't supposed to be worried about what other people do, but when it affects the whole operation as a whole, because remember, this is a business. It's supposed to be a clock that works together because this whole thing is about time. But once one little piece of the clock messes up, it's a domino effect for everyone. All right? This is not an excuse for management. This ain't an excuse for unions. This ain't an excuse for the workers. Just tell me I'm lying. Just tell me I'm lying. Resistance to change. Hey, man. You no longer use an LLV or FFV on your route. You're going to have to use a Metris or a ProMaster. I'm not, I'm not getting no training on that. Well, that's part of your route. No, we're going to file a grievance. I'm not using that piece of junk. But this is what we, we, we did exactly what the union said. Union said to analyze the route. The route has more packages. Now you got to get a ProMaster. I'm not driving it. I'm not going for training. I'm not doing it. Resistance to change. Well, whatever, man, I'm not, I'm just, I can't, I can't get, a, they'll go and get a note saying that they can't get in and out of a damn van. You hear me? Y'all know what I'm talking about. No, I'm talking about green light and bad behavior. Clicks and gossip. Negative social dynamics, clicks and gossip harm team cohesion and productivity you don't get it i get it i got people that write me and please when you write me i can't help issues like that i can give you information on certain things but don't give me specific oh there's a girl and she gets away with xyz what can i do to get back at her no that i'm here for real assistance in life situations where hey i got blah 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 i need to move is there a way to do that i can't I, you got to talk to your unions before you email me i get hundreds of emails also before you say oh this dude ain't answering me some of your emails come in as spam because once you put your phone number in there hey call me back or whatever it is or check out this website it goes to spam and i don't check my spam i got a life I had hundreds of emails, videos, a nine-year-old, my own life. I do this because I want to pass information on so you guys can hear and realize we're all part of the problem. You heard me say it correctly. We are all part of the problem. Green, light, and bad behavior. What are we going to do about it? Somebody just tell me I'm lying. Somebody tell me I'm lying. I wanted to hear from you because I'm going to end it there and we're going to pick it up another spot a couple days from now. I wanted to hear from you if you've made it this far. This is an interesting, um, if you're still watching, this is an interesting challenge for you. And this is specifically for parents, okay? This is a challenge. If you work for the post office, I would like you to send me a picture of a female VMF vehicle maintenance facility mechanic. You standing with a female vehicle maintenance facility mechanic, not a secretary, 
but a mechanic that works for the VMF. You standing with that person and then just send me the picture and just tell me where you guys are located. If you can do that, if you can do that, today is going to be August 1st, next tomorrow, before the end of August, and you send me a picture of you and that person, and I'll verify where you're located because I know everybody everywhere, I will give you $250 to help you with your school shopping. That's what the purpose will be for, to help you with school shopping, going back to school. $250. The first one to send me a picture of you, you, not somebody else. Don't be like, hey, you got that person over there. That, no, no, no. You and a VMF worker, a mechanic, that's a female, $250 right to you. Okay. Why do I say that? Let's see how hard that is to do. And if it's that hard, the question is why? This is JH. If you made it to the end of this video, if you made it to the end of this video, just say common sense is not a gift. Type that in the comment section. Common sense is not a gift. And I'm out. Unexpected expenses stressing you out? Get the money you need now with Loans for Feds, a program designed specifically for federal employees. Bad credit is not a problem. Application is fast and easy with same-day approvals. Apply now.